What up, what up, tuners? So, um, today is day one of my suspension, and it's a really nice day out. And I took a pre-workout, but I feel like if I do this, it's gonna go to waste. But anyway, I haven't done these in a while, and you can probably guess what it is. Sample box. Ah, oh, shit. Look at that, mother Every time, man. Well, I better let them know. Sorry, I get my discount. Hey, this looks like liquor. Philip Rock, Grand Reserve. Fake ad. This is like the Crown Royal of vape juice. I have a perfect idea for this. I can use this as like a a shift knob cover for the summer. I just slip it over, and boom, my hand won't get burned. See, gotta use that old noggin. Which one exploded? Oh my god. Okay. Look at that. Look at all that glass. Hold up, I need to take a picture. I need to take a couple pictures so I can send it to them. Okay. Yeah, I took a picture. Uh, I gotta hit up their customer support now. Unfortunate. Now I have juice all over the bottom row of bottles. Man, Blitzkrieg. Bourbon. Oh, man, that sounds like liquor. Heavy cream. Wow, that sounds like porno skin. Yeah, let me put all this stuff away. Milk of the poppy. Is that Mary Poppins breast milk? What? So, um, I've had these decals, uh, ever since I got my wheels, which was like last year. I want to put them on, but I didn't know which one to put on. Obviously, I had the oval one on the, on the face, on like one of the spokes, and it looks good. I mean, it looks good. I like it. It never came off. But now I want to put Meister CR on the lip, along with these, uh, I don't know, what is it? Disclaimers? Wheel disclaimers? I don't know. I... I'll take a snapshot and um, put it up. But it's in Japanese and shit. I know the uh, Regal Masters um, have a, a decal that goes all around the lip of the wheel. And it looks really good. And I think there's like other stuff that they put on there. But I know the decal looks good on that wheel. So I figured uh, I'll, I'll try this one out. The thing that I'm trying to decide is whether to use the white or the black. And I gotta figure out how to cut that. So first, I need to find a straight edge. Well, I found one. It's um, Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne's wedding I got invited to uh, July 4th. Congratulations to these two fictional characters. I think they came out with this because Kitty Pride and Colossus got married. So they would, DC was all like, oh, hey, Marvel's characters are getting married. So we might as well marry some of our own. Anyway, I hope that's good enough. Okay. So I was able to cut out the Blackmeister letters straight enough, put that on the lip, and uh, I'll just leave that and then put it to the right side of the lip. I gotta do that four more times, and hopefully it turns out well, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be real pissed. All right, so I'm gonna cut this three more times and we go downstairs. One more thing, I got license plate frame. I'll be taking out my front one, which is, um, uh, I forgot who it was. JD Amigo, it was, uh, your car sucks. <laughs> Fobs, I'm gonna take that out um, and put this on. I wish I had two so I could put this on the front and rear, but you only sent one, which is good enough for me because the one in the rear says, I hate your fake wheels. And I swear to God, man, that offends so many people when they get behind me and they see that. Serves them right for buying reps. So let's do the easy thing first. Your car is sucks. <laughs> uh, I bought two of them and The other one is on the girlfriend's car, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Why is the plate all dented up? Oh yeah, somebody hit me. Yeah, look at that, that shit's all bent. Whatever. Done. All 
right, so the plate frame's done, and now we can get on to ricing out my car again. Luckily, this time, I have Michael fiber tiles and instant detailer. So let's do it on this wheel. already uh, washed the car yesterday before I went to work so the only thing I had to do was just clean off the surface um, but the rest of the car is already dirty because where I work um, there's this yard with nothing but trailers every time they drive through there it picks up dust and that just flies over the parking lot where everybody parks and it's bullshit so let's give this a shot and see how it turns out So uh, that didn't turn out the way I wanted to. Um, yeah, but you can see it. I was gonna put the Japanese letters like over here to extend it more, but I think that'll be good enough. Um, yeah, I got burn marks. Sorry, sorry. I noobed it up, man. I'm a little upset, but that's another excuse to uh, get my lip rebarreled or get my wheel re-lipped to something wider to maybe I don't know 11s because there's this guy at work he has a truck he has he got fours one pieces they are 20 by 14 that shit is massive man and he dwarfs those wheels his truck dwarfs those shits it's crazy all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the um other three and hopefully don't like the first time So it's all done. It's all done. Um, yeah, you can. Stop side down. Um, stop side down. It looks. Man, you can't see shit. Okay. Yeah, well, there you go. I think it looks good. Gives it a nice, unique little touch to the wheels um the problem that i have already with them is that they're crooked i think every single one of them is crooked but yeah you can't tell when it's rolling damn she does look good though well i think that might be it for today's video I don't have anything else planned to sh planned to shoot. Well, I don't know if uh, his trip calls me. We could go install his coilovers. That's totally on him. It's a nice day, so he might be working. All right. Hope you guys like the video of me ricing out my wheels. See you in the next one.